Well hello there, it's John Q here from Phone Dog, and this is just a little video recap of all the CES goodness that's been going down recently. Aaron, or should I say Heron, has been getting all the action with all the latest devices in Las Vegas. Starting on CES Day Zero, Heron unboxes the HTC Evo Shift 4G, Sprint's successor to the oh so popular Evo 4G. It's pretty much the same device but with a slightly smaller screen and a slide out physical cord keyboard. On to the most Moto stuff. Motorola surprised a lot of people with their Zoom tablet. Zoom spelled X-O-O-M, fancy fancy. It's got a 10.1 inch screen, a 5 megapixel camera launching with Android 3.0, aka Honeycomb Serial! Sorry. <laughs> Anyone remember those? I loved eating those when I was a kid. And like the BlackBerry Playbook, it's got a 1 GHz dual core processor. Funny enough, it's not the only device with a dual core processor, as Motorola revealed the Atrix 4G going to AT&T and the Motorola Droid Bionic. No, not Bionicle, just Bionic. Which is just as cool. Both have a 1 GHz dual core processor, Android 2.2, and get this, 1 GB of RAM. Pretty impressive. The Moto Peeps demonstrated how you can hook up the Atrix to your computer and control your phone from there. That's epic! I wish I could do that with my iPhone. Moving on. CES 2011 Day 1. Today was all about Verizon and HTC. Loads of people were hoping for mentions of the iPhone coming to Verizon, but uh, it doesn't look like it is. Instead, the people got to see two upcoming smartphones from HTC. Wait for it. Wait for it. Slow clap. And yes. The HTC Thunderbolt going to Verizon. The Thunderbolt's got pretty much the same specs as the Evo 4G. So I suppose this will be the HTC Evo 4G on Verizon. And like Aaron, ex <laughs> excuse me, Heron, I'm surprised it doesn't have a dual core processor. Phone number two would be the HTC Inspire 4G, with almost the exact same specs as the Thunderbolt, as well as the HTC Desire in Europe. Desire? Inspire? Coincidence? I'm not too sure, but either way, this bad boy is going to AT&T. Well, that's it for Phone Dog CES 2011 Day 1 Recap. Don't forget to check out our 100 iPad and tablet giveaway going down on Facebook. The first winner will be announced January 17th, so get your tickets fast. Details to everything I talked about today can be found in the Flaffa Fla, aka description box. This is John Q from Phone Dog, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm outies, yo. Let us cereal!